Greetings, YouTube. Interesting, my camera tried to lock on here. For some reason, this was very important to my camera. Um, so we have a mossy oak hunting knife. Now, mossy oak is the Walmart brand of, uh, of gear. I don't think I've ever purchased a mox, mossy oak blade before. The sheath is usable. Nylon, got a plastic, full plastic liner. And the liner is actually quite impressive. It's pretty good. It's got a nice... Uh, top here that fits very snugly on the blade itself there nice nice fit so the, while the while the nylon is nothing to write home about i think that they did an excellent job on that plastic liner so i'm gonna turn this around because i'm right-handed um then we say it says mossy oak and it's got its classic blood runnel here which is mostly for aesthetics on this knife um it's a a uh, classic, you know, kind of a buoy shape. Um, it's not all that heavy. And it's part of that's because this is aluminum and this is aluminum. So that helps lighten it up a little. I have no clue how long this, this because there's nothing, the, the, doesn't, the tang doesn't come all the way here. Wouldn't surprise me if this is a stick tang and it may be three quarter, you know, maybe. I don't think it's going to come all the way down there, but I could be wrong. That They, they could come into this, but I'm not going to try to just take this apart because I'll never get it back together again. It has a leather, um, stacked leather grip, which I know a lot of people do like. Um, so long as you keep them, you know, treat them properly, they, they do last a very long time. I own knives that have stacked leather grips that are from, you know, World War II, and so, you know, they do last quite a long time. Um, overall, the Fit and finish on this is pretty good. There's no major burrs. Things look even. This swedge is nice. Uh, all that is very, very, very well done. It comes to a decent point. Um, it's hollow grind, which is not my favorite. I know there are lots of people that like hollow grind. I am not one of them. I prefer a flat grind or a convex grind. That's that's what I prefer. I think both of them cut better than hollow grinds. I think hollow grinds are overrated. They're excellent for like straight razors, for shaving, um, but for everyday utility, I think that they're a problem because when you're cutting through material, they act as a wedge as opposed to pushing the material aside uh, like the prow of a ship pushes water out of the way. Um, but this is a nice shape. I picked up at a flea market. Uh, Usable, yeah, usable. Nothing, nothing to get all excited about, but it does does work. I, again, I didn't own one of these, so I thought I'd give it a try, see how I like the fit and finish. Um, I may try to hone it up, maybe give it a try it out with some cutting jobs. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's a decent sized hunter. It's not too heavy. Um, it's heavier than you know, like a, a Morica knife would be. Um, and which I think is probably the best blade out there if you're going to want to use something for bushcraft and you're a starter. That's probably the best thing in the world to pick up, in my opinion. Um, uh, but this is definitely not something to just dismiss. And it's got a look that a lot of people, particularly Americans, love. It's got that classic Bowie look, Bowie knife. We have the mythology of the Bowie in America. Um, so yeah, not a bad blade, really. Not bad at all. It needs to be honed up some, um, but I find this whole size knife very comfortable. My hands aren't particularly large, and that is a nice, comfortable grip. If you had bigger hands, this knife would be too small for you, most definitely. But if this would be great, I think, as a starter knife for someone who's just getting into like some bushcraft, it's not a big investment point. Um, if you just want to see it, and if they really want that classic Bowie look, um, and it also might be useful for women who have smaller, lots of women have smaller hands than men do. So this might be a good scale knife for them. But again, still, I think you're going to want to go to work, uh, a Morica knife if you really want to uh, uh, get a, a solid knife for uh, bushcraft and general camping ETC carry. But this isn't bad, and I don't, I'm not sad I bought it. Um, it'll add it to my collection. And again, I may hone it up and see if it actually cuts or not. Um, so I hope you, that you have enjoyed this and I hope to see you in the next gear video.